On the afternoon of October 20th, 2002, the Thames Talbot Land Trust celebrated a memorable milestone with the dedication of our first property. The 14.5 acre Meadow Lily Nature Preserve is located within the City of London. Carol and Rick Richardson of London generously donated the property to the Land Trust. The land had been in the family's ownership for many years and the Richardsons wanted to ensure that the natural features of the area would be protected for future generations. began to think that we really wanted this land to be kept natural. And I had heard that Mary Carr was a very active environmentalist in the city. So I phoned Mary and she said, we're just in the process of starting a land trust along the lines of what is in Britain. We're not even incorporated yet, we're just working on it. And that would be the ideal place to uh, donate the land. So we waited and uh, during that process of them becoming incorporated, they did some research on whether the land was valuable enough to become a part of the land trust. And that was how we found it really, through Mary. Well, I managed to get started with the Thames Talbot Land Trust the same time the trust got started. I was working for Carolinian Canada Coalition when a group of volunteers from the uh, McElroy Field Naturalist approached us to see if we could help them develop a land trust for London. It had been an interest of mine since I'd moved to London, so I was glad to work with that group. Uh, I was there for the, the staff support for the first 12 people who got together on the founding committee. Well, from what I understand, when the press covered the fact and did some pictures of the donation, the land trust started to get phone calls from people that said, we've been wondering how to preserve our land, we want it kept natural, and we want to leave it as a legacy. And so that began uh, a little bit of a snowball effect. Other people donated, and then people read about them, and more donated, and now they've accumulated quite, um, quite, a, no a, mar quite a large amount of land. Well, my husband grew up on Hamilton Road, in that same area and during World War II he played there along the river with his younger brother. Uh, during World War II there weren't being a lot of toys manufactured. They had to carve little guns out of a piece of wood and they played there and I believe they developed their imagination a lot. Um, I grew up in Nova Scotia and I also played a lot in nature. Uh, neither of us did organized sports other than what was provided through our elementary school, a little bit of baseball. And we do believe that children playing in open natural areas like that can develop their imagination and their creativity. So when he bought this land in that area quite a long time ago, we decided that it would be appropriate to sever off all the ravine land in the natural area and give it to the Thames Talbot Land Trust. That, that was a big motivation, the fact that children could access it and play there, and because we believe nature's very nurturing. So for, for adults too. There's a small flower that I know as a trout lily, but apparently some people used to call it a meadow lily. It's a small yellow flower that comes up in the spring. And we believe probably that's where the name came from. To contact us, please visit www.ttlt.ca or by phone at 519-858-3442.